This is CPM Calculus Chapter 3, number 139. While riding a roller coaster, the velocity in meters per second on a certain segment of track is represented by the function v of t is equal to negative 8t. Okay, so here we have the function v is in meters per second, t is in seconds. All right. Part A, sketch the graph of v of t for 0 to 4 seconds. What is the speed of the car at t is equal to 4? So let's go ahead and graph this. Right? I'm going to say take 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is t, and this is velocity. Right? So go ahead and graph this. Well, this is basically um, a line hitting our origin at 0 with the slope of negative 8. So it's going to go down 8 for every 1. So I'm going to call this um, um, 8. Negative 8, negative 16, negative 24, negative 32. Okay, this is just so I can fit it in. So it's going to go down 8 over 1, down 8 over 1, down 8 over 1, down 8 over 1. Okay, so this is the sketch. It's just a line like this. And this is the sketch between 0 and 4 seconds. Okay? So here is the sketch. All right. So what is the speed of the car at t is equal to 4? So at 4 seconds, right? Our output is negative 32, right? So at t is equal to 4, the speed is equal to negative 32, but that's velocity, right? So velocity is equal to negative 32 meters per second. Speed is kind of the absolute value of velocity is equal to 32 meters per second. OK. Because we know speed is uh, um, just a magnitude, while velocity has magnitude and direction, direction being negative or positive in this case. Okay, <clears throat> so that's part A. Let's go into part B. Assuming the car is 100 meters above ground. Okay, so I don't know. Let's say this is the cart. Whatever it is, okay, you're in here. Yay, going down, right? So, assuming this height right here is 100 meters, at time is 0, where is the car at time is 4 seconds? Okay? Well, we know that if this is velocity, right, and this is time here, then velocity is equal to distance over time, right, or change in distance over change in time. That means if we want to solve for distance, right, where is the car? We have to look at the distance. We solve for distance, well, delta d is equal to v times delta t, right? So given that, we're just going to be multiplying our x-axis with our y-axis. That's going to be the area under the curve equals the area under Our curve, our, our velocity curve, right? And if you see this area, I'm just going to shade it in. This is a triangle. It's actually a right triangle. That doesn't matter too much. So basically, I can say that our delta D is equal to the area, right? Area, which is equal to the area of a triangle, area of a triangle, which is 1 half base times height, which is equal to 1 half. What's the base? The base is 4, right? 4 seconds even. And the height is negative 32 meters per second. Multiply these together, and you get 1 half of 4 is 2. 2 times negative 32 is negative 64 meters. 
the seconds and over seconds cancel. Okay. So what? How do we answer the question? Because this is just telling us the change in distance, right? So where's the car? Well, the car is going to be somewhere around here. It's going to drop 64 meters, right? So it's going to be somewhere around here. Yay, that was fun. Yay. Okay, so this is at t is equal to 4, t is equal to 0. So right now, this distance right here, it dropped, is 64 meters, right? So it went down 64 meters. So where is it? Um, the cart or the car, right, the roller coaster car, is now at, well, what's 100 minus 64? I could give the exact height, right? 100 minus 64 is 30, um, 36, right? So the cart is now at 36 meters above ground, right? How far is this drop? This drop is, well, that's just delta D. This drop is 64 meters. You can even say 64 meters down. But drop implies down, so let's not say down. The drop is 64 meters. All right, let's box this answer. All right. And that's going to end our roller coaster ride in CPM calculus, number, chapter 3, number 139.